Welcome to Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase. I'm Betty Kingery. And I'm Bob Parcell. We hope you like our new time of 8 o'clock on Tuesdays. Uh, Mountain to Lake Realty is located at 195 South Main Street. We think that's a great location for a real estate office in Uptown Rocky Mount. Please stop by anytime. We do invite you to stop by. We're there Monday through Friday from 8.30 until 5. We're also there on the weekends by appointment, so we invite you to give us a call, text us, email us, contact us whenever you see us. Just let us know what your real estate needs are because that's what we're here for, to be the answer to all of your real estate needs. We're also online. 24-7, so if you can't catch us at the office, you know to go to mountaintolake.com. We update our website many times daily, and uh, you also have the opportunity not only to look at our listings, but all the listings from all the realtors throughout the valley. So it's pretty extensive. Uh, there's probably over 6,000 property listings on, on our MLS right now, so we're happy to help you with any of those listings. We ask you to just find a good realtor and work with that realtor once you find out whether he or she is doing the right job for you because all of us have access to the multiple listing service and it is all about our service and that's something at Mountain to Lake that we really strive to be the best that we can be to answer your needs. We just need to know what they are. It's a great time to sell real estate because there are lots of buyers out there. There are lots of serious buyers out there. Wouldn't you find that true, Bob? Yeah, the market's been real strong all year. I keep thinking maybe it'll tail off a little bit, but like the last couple of years, so far this year has been very strong and mm -hmm. things appear to be moving real well. I think other areas of the state, I know um, I've heard too many people say that other areas are really selling properties quickly, which is good news for us because as sellers, sell their properties in other areas. They can come here and have the ability to pay and don't have that other home holding them back. What do you hear as far as with your buyers? Why are they coming to Franklin County or the surrounding area? What are some of the things, some of the reasons that, and have they already been online mm -hmm. looking? Well, I think most people come to Franklin County. I think one of the attraction is you know, the, the low taxes. I think Smith Mountain Lake's a big attraction. I think that um, Philpot Lake's a big attraction. You know, we we have mountains up towards the parkway. People like that. If you want real secluded properties, you can certainly go up towards Ferrum or Snow Creek or, or Henry. Yep, if you want a bedroom community of Roanoke, Smith Mountain Lake is a, obviously a different market. So we, we have a very diverse real estate market right. in the county. Um, you can live towards Boone's Mill or Callaway and be close to jobs in, in Roanoke with significantly less taxes and more acreage. Mm -hmm. um, certainly great views. And, I think that's a big part of it. Mm -hmm. we, you know, I just think our, we have an extremely diverse county in terms right. of real estate. Definitely. And as far as price-wise, too. You can find a, find a home in practically every price range. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, that's possible to, buy, to purchase a home. That well, that's is. true. And I think that's what we try to do at Mountain to Lake is not specialize in just one area or the other. That's what I try mm -hmm. to do. I, mm -hmm. I attempt to sell farms and large acreage tracks, lots homes of all price ranges all over the county. Been working a lot outside of Franklin County in the last couple months in Roanoke City, Roanoke County, um, Botetourt. So, mm -hmm. you know, there, there's some, we have a large county, some, there's some places we go, for example, in Roanoke County, they're actually closer than some areas of Franklin County. Right, right. I had an odd question yesterday that uh, the clients asked me, how many houses am I gonna have to look at before I find the right one? <laughs> And mm -hmm. I thought, hmm, well. They ask you that, what would you say, one? It varies. <laughs> I said, looks like this one's a pretty good fit to me. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I think the, what a buyer needs to do is to become extremely familiar with everything in their price range. Okay. If that means we run around all the time, then so be it. But the more houses you look at, the better off you are, because then you see what's a fair price. And then, you know, you know what you want. If you look at 20 or 30 houses, then... When you walk in one you like or maybe go back to one of the first ones, you have a big comfort level about making an offer. So I think one of the best ways to feel comfortable about making an offer is to look at a lot of houses so you know what, yeah. what's out there. And know what to offer, right. Yeah. So um, how do I find my price range? 
Do I just guess at what I, I want my monthly payment to be, or what do I do? Hmm? <laughs> What's your famous answer for that? Well, I obviously need to get pre-approved, yeah. but there's a lot to think about. See a lender. You know, some people <laughs> sell their house, and uh, maybe they've lived there 30 years, and they're going to you know, net $150,000. They may or may not want to put all that towards the new house. And I do think mo you know, still most buyers should do a better job of um, knowing their financing up front. Because mm -hmm. what happens is you find a house and there's a lot of pressure to get the pre-approval letter. How much do I want to put down? Uh, we keep saying that because we see that all the time. But, it is. You know, it's that's just, you know, why push yourself in a corner? You find a property you want and then realize it's a foreclosure. I'm not qualified for a conventional loan, which probably won't work with a USDA loan. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the thing to do is to work with an agent and a lender and l listen to them yeah. and take their advice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if they do it all the time, hopefully they can give you some good advice. And, right. Um, but, you know, you, you really need to, I, I think, be able to fill out your financing on an offer, how much you're going to put down the type of loan is about as easy as you put in your address because that you need to think about that a lot. You have a 30-year loan hanging there, um, so it makes sense to look at that ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. It may well, sound obvious, but a lot of people don't do that. Well, lending is so different. We had a couple of bankers that uh, lenders stopped by the office yesterday, and we were just talking about how different it is. And I, our clients don't realize the difference, how much harder it is probably to go through the process. It's not necessarily that they won't make it through the process. Mm -hmm. It's just more difficult more things are asked for and you you think to yourself well why didn't you give me a list of these 14 things that i need well you are probably given a list of 14 things but then well, that list flags other areas buyers need to get over that yeah i mean well, you're, you're gonna get it's, well it's hard well, it's they they don't understand i have, just got a line five years ago and it and i the, did it fine then they're not listening yeah <laughs> I mean, you, you, you have to you have to know what you're up against. Most people can get a loan that have the qualifications to get one, but most people are extremely frustrated in the number of documents, the number of times they have to produce those documents. Mm -hmm. And that's just the way it is. The lenders are looking, shooting at a moving target in my view too. The lenders, their guidelines, the people that are governing them, their all their guidelines are changing all the mm -hmm. time too. The lenders don't like to ask you for something and then ask for it for something separate. I mean, yeah. Um, so that's just, as a buyer, just, just realize you're probably going to be frustrated the amount of times that you're asked for something. But, you know, what happened five years ago doesn't mean it's going to happen today. That's right. You just need to talk to lenders and see what your options are and Well, and that, be prepared. that's what's so important. If you're not paying cash for your house, you need to get real cozy with your lender, in mm -hmm. other words, and just, just know what, what you're in for. So, well, we have some great properties to show you, so why don't we get started with those right now. This first property offers a Smith Mountain Lake water frontage. As you, as you see from your screen, as a matter of fact, it's 258 feet of water frontage, so that's very good in, in itself. This home was built in 1990, and it even has updates. It's located in the Brooks Point subdivision. And to get to Brooks Point, if we're traveling east on Route 40, turn left on 945 and then on to 938. And I don't always get the road names and the road numbers correct, but this home is located on Oak Ridge Road, and that's with a Union Hall address. It's 55 Oak Ridge. It's a three bedroom, three full baths, one half bath. It's three levels. It does have a full walkout basement. And you can see from this picture as far as the levels. The entry level has 1,930 square feet of living space. You have another 1,000 square feet on the upper level. There's 800 square feet of finished space. So you've got a 3,730 square foot house that offers you great living right on Smith Mountain Lake. You're located on two waterfront lots. It's offered you 1.4 acres. And as I said earlier, you've got that water frontage and you actually have a sandy beach that I have a picture of in, a, in just a few minutes as well. Right here it is. So you can enjoy a quality built home on Smith Mount Lake 
as well as a sandy beach, a very, very nice boathouse, and we'll look at those pictures a little bit later as well. You've got that southern exposure, so it's a, a great property with a Union Hall address. Here you see an attached garage that's actually you, it's attached to the house but detached in a way as, as well. And we're going to look at some of those pictures too. As you come into the entry uh, level of the house, you'll notice the hardwood flooring. You'll find hardwood, some carpet, and uh, also lots of ceramic tile as we go through the house. A nice size kitchen, like the island area, as well as you have a very nice breakfast area. You do have a formal dining room. I like this dining room and the fact that you have plenty of room for your table and chairs, but you also got room for that hutch or other furnishings that you'd like to use. Back to the kitchen area, you can see from this picture the openness that this floor plan allows you. You can see the hardwood flooring as well in this picture. Into the great room, and from the great room you have such great lake views as well. So we go into the master bedroom suite, a very spacious master bathroom. And then this bedroom could also be used as an office if you wanted to use it as such. And as we're on the second floor landing, looking down into the great room. Another bedroom that's in the upper level and your loft area that you could use for whatever. It's got a great view of the lake from that loft. And then another room, upper bedroom, or on that upper level. Let's go all the way down to the lower level. And there's finished space, as I told you earlier. There's 800 square feet of finished space in that lower level. Offers a wet bar as well. You have a lower level laundry area. And here's another picture of the lower level family room. You've got great space out on that patio and great views as well. We're looking at the, at the deck that you have off of the, your lower level. And then again from the, your lake. You have a 12 by 12 dock, a 5 by 28 floater, 14 by 28 boathouse with an upper deck. You have your personal watercraft slips and another picture of the of the beach area. The garage you have the 27 by 24 and a 16 by 27 garage. And as we look inside that garage area, lots of nice space for your hobbies or uses as a workshop. The garage also has an upper level. You've got nice space once again for whatever you want to use it for. This is a wonderful property, as I said earlier, located in Union Hall. Great views of the lake and just a quick street view, but a wonderful property on Oak Ridge Road. Give Billy or any of the agents at Mountain to, La Mountain to Lake a call. They'll be happy to preview this home with you. So it looks like a nice property there, Betty, and we'll travel to the other end of our county for this real unique property. It's, on the, it's both in Henry and Franklin County. It's 62 plus acres. It's a working horse farm. Out of that 62 plus acres, there's roughly 20 acres that's pasture, roughly eight acres that's fenced. The rest is wooded. Um, you're looking at the front of this home. The original home was built roughly in 1900. There's been two major additions in 1986. We'll show you those. Um, has a new roof, new metal roof, and also has been painted on the outside. Lots of balconies and riding rings and barns we'll show you, but it's a real unique property. It's a working horse farm, um, again, on Henry Railroad, and it's literally in both counties. But he's going to show you a lot of the pictures here of the, um, the pasture, and a lot of it is fenced. Again, roughly eight acres is fenced. Plenty of um, hay is on the property. Again, it's roughly 20 acres. It's open. You can see be through a little small wood cluster there up towards Henry Road how much of the land is actually pasture. You can get some hay as opposed to all of it being fenced. There's certainly a lot more room for additional fenced acreage on this property. This is one of two five-stall barns. This one, of course, has a, a lot of storage on the upper level. Uh, both have tack rooms with water and elect electricity. 
This is a second five-stall barn on the other end of the property. This is a view of the pasture. I'm out to the, I guess, looking at the house from the road to the right. goes back to a creek. You look at the back end of the property from this picture. Again, there's the fencing, freshly painted blackboard fencing. It's one of two riding rings. We step inside the house. It has 1,710 feet on both floors. Your total square footage is 3420. This is one of the two additions done in 1986. Really a nice family room with um, stone fireplace. Large family room and dining area all in one big room. This is a view from the over towards the fireplace, back towards the dining area. There's a nice large kitchen. So they have their laundry in the kitchen. The, uh, Entry level garage, which is heated, also has laundry hookups if you'd prefer it be there. Another view of the kitchen. Beyond the kitchen to the left and the right, there through the arch is the addition uh, we just showed you with the living room and dining area. Closer view of the dining area. This is a four, I'm sorry, a three bedroom house. The entry level, this is the entry level bedroom. It has a closet, they obviously use it as an office. Um, it's plenty large for a bedroom. It has a closet. Again, that's what they're using it for today. This is one of three full baths. This one's on the entry level. You go upstairs, there's two bedrooms. This is the second of three total bedrooms. There's two masters on the upper level. This one here. This is the other addition in 86. This is a very large uh, master suite. You can see in this picture. This is a dinner office on the upper level. So the upper level has two master bedrooms in this office. Here's the back of the house. I'm showing you the, the um, attached two-car garage. The steps to the right lead up to that master bedroom for if you have a guest or something, a lot, I guess a little more privacy to go up and down those outside steps if you like. Here's the stone fireplace on the addition with the, that's the living room where we showed you earlier. Here's a better view of um, stairs to the second floor master. There's a close-up view of one of the two five-stall barns. You get some, this one has a lot of storage above. There's one of two tack rooms. This is a storage above the red barns. You can see the tremendous amount of storage there for hay. This is the area to the left of the house. We showed you some pictures earlier to the right. This is the second five-stall barn. On the back side of that. See the horses, Betty? I've got yeah. some horses in the picture. Well, you know what? I was just thinking, though, well, not horse-wise, but um, this property is priced right to sell. What's the, We're looking at the yeah. acreage, the amount of buildings that are on the property. You said it's a working farm. It definitely is. It looks moving ready for yeah. whoever. There's a second tack room with electricity and water. This is a really nice property. Again, you have almost 63 acres, 20 acres of pasture, a lot of it's fenced. Uh, updated home. We showed you all those pictures. Of, I think it's like a really good property. Again, it's on the Henry Road and the line between the two counties comes through the property. It's a beautiful, beautiful property. And again, with all that acreage. Mm -hmm. and a wonderful house that has been updated. So, and speaking of updates, uh, another home that was built in 1916, but uh, great uh, updates that have been done to the property. You have a little over 14 acres. This is located at Chestnut Grove Road. This is with a Callaway address. When I'm traveling from Rocky Mount and uh, you want to go to Boone's Mill, go the 220 route and then make a turn onto the Bethlehem Road, go straight onto the Callaway Road, and just past Callaway Elementary, you will make a left turn onto Chestnut Grove. And uh, for the ones of us that are traveling from right in Rocky Mount, we have a different route that we'll go, but just to give you an idea of location wise for this particular property, uh, you're not that far from the Callaway Elementary to get to Chestnut Grove Road. So a wonderful four square house. 
circa 1918 farmhouse. So you're at the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Actually, from the kitchen area or the back of the home, you can look up and, and see the Blue Ridge Parkway. You can see the cars uh, traveling on the, on the parkway. And there actually is a stop on the parkway. I can't remember at this point which stop it is for you to look out and see the countryside. So it's an absolutely beautiful setting for this home. Gorgeous mountain views and just a, a beautiful home as well. Four bedrooms, two full baths, a half bath. You've got 1,944 square feet of living space on that entry level. You've got upper level with 1,204 square feet. So you've got about 3,150 square feet of living space in this beautiful home. Just looking out from the front porch, this is the view that you have. You're just a little bit off of Chestnut Grove Road. You will notice the house, or a lot of times you just kind of pass the house and, and you see the home in the background. But uh, this is the view that you have from your front porch. Also, if you look to the left, uh, you'll, uh, from, again, I'm, I'm standing on the front porch taking this picture. You'll see your paved driveway, of course, that certainly is nice, but just the beauty of the surroundings that you have. So as we step on into the, um, the house, but you'll also notice the stamped concrete that they've used for the walkway coming into the house, as well as on the front porch. But beautiful architect, should I say architecture, that you find in the home. The staircase is, is lovely. You notice the hardwood floors that have certainly been kept up. Again, just looking around to the character that you find in this house, it's from the 1900s, but yet it's updated for the convenience of the 2000s. This room could definitely be used as a bedroom if you wanted to use it as such. It does have a closet. You could use this as a formal living room if you wanted to, but the current owners are using it as an office. As I go to the left side of the front door, then we get into the formal dining room. The dining room is open into the family room and easy access to the kitchen as well. And again, you're gonna notice the beautiful hardwood flooring that you find. That dining room does have a, a fireplace as you see from this picture. Uh, the fireplaces have not been used for wood or this one has not, it has gas logs could always convert it. Um, an addition to this home was also made. I'm not sure. I can't tell you the year like you did, Bob, on you, when you were featuring the listing just a few minutes ago, but this is a, a new addition. It's a very nice, large, spacious family room. It does have a, a wood stove in it right now, but uh, you could use this as, as they've used as a family room kind of library area as well but it's very spacious. The cathedral ceiling also makes it even have a larger feel or bigger feel to it as well. The kitchen was updated and you'll see the gorgeous cabinetry. You have nice workspace. You have that center island that also has electric uh, your outlets so that it's very handy to use. You have a very nice size pantry in the kitchen area as well. The kitchen area is open to a little breakfast area as well as to that formal dining room that we saw just a few moments ago. And as you see from when they did the renovation, they left a window area so that you can look over into the family room and even use it for when we're, what is it, the women have to be serving the, the men, <laughs> so it's a quick, I didn't it's, say a, that. it's a quick pass through <laughs> in there. This is the little breakfast area that I uh, talked to earlier and the nice windows, whether you want to call this a Florida room since it does have the nice window exposure and, and from, from that table you can see the, the Blue Ridge Parkway. So it's, it's such a wonderful view that you have there as well. The laundry room's on the entry, entry level as well. And another view of, of that, uh, oh, I'm about to say this is another family room. Now, actually, this room could be used as a uh, bedroom as well. It does have its own closet. It uh, 
is used currently as a, as a den or a little study area too, but this is on the entry level. So we go up the steps, I had to take a picture of the, the stairway because it, I just think it is so beautiful. But your landing area, you have an, a nice landing area before you get to your bedrooms that are, are on the upper level. And we'll take a quick look at, at the bedrooms that are on the upper level. They're nice spacious rooms. This is a master suite on the upper level and the bathroom that uh, connects to that master bedroom. This is one of your other family bedrooms. And again, you've got all the hardwood flooring in each of these bedrooms. So very nice size. You know, in our older four square homes, the bedrooms in the upper level were extremely large. This is your bathroom that's shared by the other bedrooms that are on the upper level as well. And you can tell I like that staircase. So here's another picture. But as we looking out again, once the land lays well here, you've got 14 acres. So bring your horses, bring, bring cattle, do whatever you'd like. But it, it is very nice acreage. And uh, we're looking in the back of the home, back up to the Blue Ridge Parkway. And as we look at the back of the home, can see that sunroom or the breakfast area that I'm, I'm so fond of. And one of the favorites of uh, folks that have come to look at the property so far have been these awesome garage shops. One of them is a 30 by 66 and uh, one is a 15 by 25 one car garage. And then you have that 12 by 23 storage lean to. So here's the smaller one car garage and there's that larger garage shop. So very nice buildings, plenty of storage, plenty of room for all of your hobbies. And again, very, very nice flat yard. So great pro property located at Chestnut Grove Road. Give any of our agents at Mountain View a call. We'll be happy to help you. Next property is on Smith Mountain Lake. It's a condominium at the waterfront built in 2003. And the advantage of this is you can just don't worry about maintenance and enjoy the lake. This condo has 1,371 square feet. It's a, a two bedroom, two bath unit. Again, this is going to be off the Scruggs Road in Windless in the waterfront. It's a third floor unit, looks like a corner unit. Nearby amenities are the Waterfront Country Club, of course, gorgeous lake views. This has been almost completely updated with custom cabinetry, granite, wet bar, ceramic, and wood throughout. There's a good view of the entire complex. There's a great room with cathedral ceilings, fireplace, and wet bar. And again, notice the nice wood floor. Here's that fireplace. Always enjoy the lake in the winter, and this would be a nice feature to come in here in the winter and enjoy that. And there's the wet bar. Again, the obvious advantage to, to this particular listing is you can just enjoy the lake and you know, don't worry about keeping up the unit. You know, a friend of mine bought a house at the lake and I think he made a great decision to just enjoy the lake and not have to deal with keeping his yard perfect. That's the way he would like it and the, the Property Owners Association does, does a good job for him. But all kinds of amenities here. Um, it's a boat slip, hoist, jet ski lift. In addition to the Waterfront Country Club, where there's golf, there's also you know, a pool, tennis court, restaurant, and fitness center that's available if you become a member of the Waterfront. Again, this is one level living, 1,371 square feet. Nice deck to take advantage of your views of Smith Mountain Lake. Now here's a great picture showing your waterfront on Smith Mountain Lake. Looks like plenty of room to get your boat in and out and enjoy your dock. Here's an even better picture showing you um, the boat lift you have here. Again, there's a, a boat slip and hoist and a jet ski lift. So this looks like a great place to, to go enjoy the summers and year-round at Smith Mountain Lake. There's an even really nice picture here showing you the, the view from the dock and how easy it should be to get you in, your boat in and out. Great unit at South Point Shore Drive on Smith Mountain Lake. So that completes our featured listings for this show. I'm Betty Kingery. 
I'm Bob Parcell, and thanks for watching Mountain Lake Realty Showcase at our new time at 8 o'clock on Tuesdays. Right here at Cable 12.